Hi and welcome to Watch Everybody UK and my name's Kevin and today I'm looking back on the previous seven days and asking or giving a thumbs up or thumbs down to is 20 plenty in Wales? So I'll do a thumbs up or thumbs down, look at the impact on the earnings, then I'll discuss some of the things that's happened over the last seven days as to why I think it should or should not continue. So let's go, first of all, thumbs up or thumbs down? Well, for me, it's a big thumbs up. It's not been as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It looks like it's gonna be quite good. And given time and given the opportunity for us all to get used to it, I think it's gonna be a positive move. So it's a big thumbs up from me for 20 is plenty. So the big question is though, is what impact has it had on my earnings over the last seven days? Now in my previous video, I did say I was really concerned about it impacting quite badly on my earnings. Uh, I was thinking maybe up to as much as 30%, because we're going 30% slower. Uh, that hasn't occurred, we'll go into the details in a minute. But uh, let's look at previously, when I've done a seven day um, earnings week, that's 44 hours for me, I work from 2 p.m till 8 p.m. Monday to Thursday, and also on a Sunday. Then on a Friday and a Saturday, I do 2 p.m. till 9 p.m. So I don't do nights, I don't do mornings, it's just that uh, session in the afternoon. And if I do seven days a week, then that's 44 hours. I don't normally do seven days, I normally do five days. But 44 hours is my maximum working week. Now previously, I would do on that about between 900 and 950 pound previously. So let's have a look at what I've done in the last seven days. I did seven days because of one, I had to pay out a thousand pound this week for my operator's license. So that's all sorted now. I can legally take bookings. And I also want to try and recover some of my lost money or spent money moving into the new flat. So I want to try and boost up my savings again. But let's go now and let's have a look at the actual figures that I did. Remember, normally it would be between 900 pounds and 950 pounds. So did I drop a lot or not? Let's look at this, 44 hours active time or shift time uh, and 35 hours, 48 minutes drive time in that shift time and I turned over a thousand pound, 13 pound and 13 pence. Not only is it my best ever week on Uber, my first 1,000 pound week plus on Uber, it's blown my average and my previous best out of the water. The figures speak for themselves. I earned more going slower, but it went smoother. So let's have a look at why I think this has happened. Okay, so we're down to 20 miles per hour. What I've noticed, now I don't work morning bank up, uh, morning rush hour, I only work the afternoon rush hour, is that even though we're traveling slower, we're getting there faster because we don't have the big blockages and the bottlenecks that we used to have. Turning right now is a breeze in many situations. There used to be renowned junctions where you turn right and you sit in a queue and it take ages because people are passing by at 30 mile an hour, they're not leaving gaps, they're not slowing down, they're not braking and letting people out to turn right. Now at 20 mile an hour, people are much happier just to ease off the accelerator, open up the gap in between, the car in front and flash it through and so you move right turns so much quicker and so much easier than before. There's also, I forget what the name of it is, but you talk to a traffic manager and they'll tell you about it. Um, there's a situation where harsh braking or regular braking, about 50 cars down the line, results in standstill traffic. It's well known, happens on the motorways all the time, fast dual carriage race all the time, where a car brakes, it backs up, the car behind brakes a little bit harder, 
a little bit harder, back, but, and all the way back, so about 50 cars down the line, you sat in standstill traffic. You don't have that being driving at 20. It's slow, but it's steady, it's smooth. People aren't doing heavy, heavy braking for traffic lights. Uh, they're not doing heavy braking for any reason. So it's very smooth, very gentle, and very enjoyable again to drive. So I have no issues at all with 20 mile an hour. I do have an issue in trying to keep down to 20 mile an hour, um, but I think that will be solved when I get my new car and have a speed limiter that I can just click on. But I am getting used to it, and I am most of the time sticking to that 20 mile an hour. Sometimes I've gone downhill, sometimes I lose concentration, and sometimes I'll just edge up over that 20, 24, 25. But generally, 20 mile an hour, not a problem for me at all. It's boosted my earnings. It's keeping me moving a lot smoother and a lot easier, especially like around those right-hand corners and turns. So that's it. That's a very positive for me. Very big thumbs up for me. But has there been some negatives? Yes. So first of all, especially around Caffili, where we've got these big hills, the car does struggle keeping <coughs> the engine going at 20 mile an hour. And I think this is one of the reasons why my engine management light has now started to come on. I've got to take it down to the garage, have the uh, area codes checked. I think it's probably just a dirty sensor because um, the engine is under labouring. It's not kicking out the fumes like it should do. Probably just got a bit of carbon somewhere and it just needs to be cleaned up. So that, that's one issue, especially around Caffili and other hilly areas being down at 20. The automatic means you can't control the gearing and it does really struggle quite badly. Um, regarding tailgaters, I only had two occasions in the entire week. I've got the sticker and the rear dash cam operating now and I've got a sticker on the back saying front and rear dash cam operating and recording. Seems to have dealt with all tailgaters, people are happy. But saying that, looking around, um, people are quite happy, they're leaving gap, leaving space, very little uh, tailgating. You've always got those self-entitled conspiracy, anti-vaxxer type delusionals who think the world is against them and the government is against them and against motorists and they'll not abide for the, by the law at all. You'll always get those. Generally, the, most people are, are quite happy, seem to be abiding by the law. And it's a pleasure to drive, it really is. So, what's the biggest negative? It's the passengers, sadly. The riders are the biggest negative of this. So I've introduced a strategy to deal with people who are complaining about speeds and wanting me to hurry up and things like that. My cancellation rate has gone up from 1% to 3%, mainly because of people badgering me even before they get into the car. So I get text messages uh, saying, how long are you going to be? Once I can accept. You know, they can look on the app, they can see where I am, they can say, see how long it's going to take. But obviously they don't know what the traffic is. So I'm quite happy to answer once. And I'll say 10 minutes. If they then come back and say, bro, I'm late for work, hurry up, can't go any faster, then I cancel. I don't want them in the car, I just cancel the job. Um, once... I'm happy to accept, twice, no, I don't want you. So my cancellation rate has gone up from 1% to 3%. It's probably gonna go up more, and that means I'm gonna lose my gold uh, rating, but I'm happy to lose my gold pro. Uh, the only real benefit of that for me is the AA cover and the free language lessons. But I'm quite happy to give those up to keep those people out of the car, I don't want to mean. Because uh, if I'm saying that to you before you even get there, hey bro, hurry up, I've got a job, I've got to get to work in five minutes. Um, if I'm saying that before you even get there, imagine what they're going to be like once I'm in your car. So I just cancel, straightforward. If they're in the car, if they ask me how long it's going to be to get to work or the station or anything like that, I'll look at the Uber app and I'll say, well it's saying 10 minutes, but with today's traffic, probably about 15 to 20 minutes. And that's it. If they then come back and say, hurry up, can't you hurry up, uh, speed up? I say, no, speed limit, and I automatically mark them down as a three on a rating. If they then come back and say, but I need to get to work, you've got to hurry up, they get a one 
on the rating at the end of the trip. No missing, three or one. I allow one question and that's it. Um, I'm not gonna play about, I'll not mark them down one because I don't want them back. And if you mark them in one, the chances of you being paired with them again are a lot smaller. So one, you're not coming back in my car, full stop. Um, so that's it really, it's really just the riders. Uh, no tailgaters, well two in a week, I'm not gonna worry about that. I used to have tailgaters before. Um, speeds, I'm quite happy with the speeds. Earnings, well, the earnings speak for themselves. I thought I'd lose money, I haven't. I've made money because of my new strategy. So I'm quite happy to admit when I'm wrong and I was wrong on this. So overall, is 20 plenty in Wales? And the experience of the last week? Yeah, I've no problems with it. I hope Wales keeps to it. Um, a lot of the foreign riders, uh, when I've spoken to them about, so taking the new speed limit at 20, most of them said, oh, no problem, I'm more than happy, it's very relaxed, very happy with the speeds, uh, gives them a chance to chill out. So, most of the foreign riders are more than happy. The only people who aren't happy are those people who are too lazy to get out of bed in time for work and expect the taxi driver to make up that time. Well, you know, sorry, I'm not your bud, I'm not your bro, I'm not your buddy, I'm not your mate. I'm not going to put my licence and my job on the line because you too lazy to get out of bed in time to get to work or too too lazy to get your butt off the sofa uh, and get up to the station so that's it for me big thumbs up big yes to yes is plenty um figures speak for themselves so that's it till next time just a quick short video i hope you enjoy it and i'm sure i'm going to get you talking so till next time safe driving and uh, make that profit <laughs>